a pleasure for me to invite out here at the podium the beautiful lady wearing an Indian outfit. And uh, we know her as Mrs. Sherry Blair. Everybody, please put your hands together. The president of the Lumba Foundation. Well, Honourable Minister, Lord and Lady Lumba, the trustees of the Lumba Foundation, friends and supporters of the Lumba Foundation, I am delighted to be here with you tonight. And I know so many of you here tonight have come here not only to support the widows, but to hear the fantastic, to sit here and see the fantastic performance that we have promised you. So I promise that I will not take too much of your time. But I did want to say just a few words about the wonderful work of the Lumber Foundation and why it matters. Now, I am sure that everybody in this room knows through friends, through family, maybe even through their own personal experience, a widow here in India. And I'm sure that for many of you, uh, you have found that those widows have had <coughs> sorrow at the loss of their husband. But of course, you also know that there are many other widows here in India that not only have that sorrow, but suffer the kinds of human rights abuses that we saw mentioned in the film. And whatever past custom and cultures may have been, it is the case that in the 21st century, everybody should be treated with respect. Everybody should be treated with dignity. And customs that abuse and deprive widows of their inheritance can no longer be tolerated. Now, we all know this, and I'm sure we all subscribe to it, but what can we do to make a difference? Well, we're here tonight because Raj and Veena Lumba decided that they were going to make a difference in a very practical way. Yes, we do talk about widows. Yes, we've talked about widows so much that we drove the UN to announce International Widows Day. But that talk is not all we do. We also back up that talk with action. Because we believe that widows and their children deserve a better life. And that is why the schemes that you've heard of tonight, which support widows and their children by providing the 500 rupees a month that enables the widow to make sure her children go to school and that she herself and the wider family can also be fed. Because it's not sufficient to just single out one child and send that child school if the family as a whole have not got enough to eat. So this scheme, which directly gives the money to the mother when her child goes to school, enables uh, not just the child, but the wider family and the widow herself to live in dignity. But we went further than that, because we realized that widows were such a resource that we should help them do whatever it is, whatever it takes to support themselves. And that's why I love the program that we do with the sewing machines. I, as you probably can gather, I love the amazing craft and skill that goes into the fabulous Indian fabrics. And what we do is we provide a woman with a sewing machine and with training to enable her to start a small business using the sewing machines to make garments. They may be very small businesses, but they are a real lifeline to the families of the widows. So these are practical steps that we are taking with your support to make a difference to the lives of widows and their children. But why does it matter? Well, it matters because it matters that all over the world we are not giving everybody an equal chance in life. It matters that all over the world, women in particular, and widows 
as a particularly disadvantaged group of, widow, of women are not having equal opportunities and equal chances in life. And you will all know that just this year, the Sustainable Development Goals have become a year old. They were set up in 2015 with a focus on 2030. And they asked the question, what sort of world do we want to see in 2030? And the answer was a better world than we see today. And because of that, there were identified 17 different goals for sustainable growth and development for the benefit of everyone. And I wanted to mention two in particular, Sustainable Development Goal 5, which is about the empowerment of women. And the Lumba Foundation, with the work it does, is absolutely fulfilling that goal that the United Nations has set all of us to help with the empowerment of women. Because yes, women are victims, but also women are strong. And if you can give these widows the tools, then they will, with dignity and self-respect, contribute and support their selves, themselves and their children. And the other uh, sustainable development goal that I should mention is SDG 8. And SDG 8 is about the economy and providing jobs. And in particular, it highlights the role of small businesses, micro-businesses, self-employment. And again, that's what we are doing with our work with the sewing machines. So we like to think that just as the United Nations acknowledged uh, the plight of widows in the International Day of Widows, we have fulfilled our pledge to them that we would not only highlight the plight, but actually do something to change it. And with your help, we have done that so far. And with your help, we can do even more in the future. Thank you. Sure. Ma'am, 